Hi, this is Reese from Code Consortium, and here with another ANSI C video tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. This is episode 3 for ANSI C programming, and in this episode, I'm going to teach you some more about some different data types you can use. The int is a uh, whole number, which you've already seen before, and I can't remember, I think I showed you the float, but if not, a float is a decimal number, you can store up to seven digits. A double is a, essentially a float, but it's double the size, so you can store uh, 15 digits in a double. And a char stores a single character, or you can store many characters if you put some square brackets on the end, which I'll tell you what that does in a different episode. Uh, or you can use string, which is essentially the same thing as a char with the brackets on the end. When you're using these data types, uh, these is, this is what you need to be uh, looking at for the formatting uh, symbols inside printf. For int, you can use i or c. Uh, for a float, you can use f. For a double, you can use lf. For a char, you can use c. And for a char with the brackets on the end, we can use s and this which is the same for a string because they're both essentially a string these last two uh, quick note on the int here where I put c yes char and int are pretty interchangeable in a couple of different contexts in ANSI C but if uh, although this does work the c if you do use these um, tell it's an output and in and format is a char you will only get the first digit of that number so just be aware of that if you only want the first number then that's fine so a good way to go is to use the uh, C there also of note with the uh, double here um, what I would recommend you put instead if you want the full number is put the uh, a decimal and then 15 and then LF on the end that will give you the full length of the uh, double you might actually even be able to put just the F if you like and that should give you the full 15 digits of the double if you don't do that and you just put F you'll get a number that looks exactly the same size as float even if you put a larger number in you'll lose some of that so if we have a look at the code we had before it's something like this I think and so here we've got the char with the square brackets on the end, which we call a char array. It's the, essentially the same as a string. And when we're using different data types, just want to specify this first bit is known as what's the data type that you're using. This part is the actual variable itself. It's the variable name you choose. And this part is the um, assignment. So whenever you use equals, you always assign the value on the right hand side not the left hand side it's much like uh, when you're doing algebra so just remember that and don't forget you every time you're doing a statement in ACC you must always put a semicolon at the very end it's really important to include the semicolon otherwise it will not compile so just make sure you do that um, this is what's known as a declaration really uh, this part because it declares a variable to exist and it declares it to be of type char for example is what I'm showing you here so all of these are all declarations so it's just important to note that now there's something else I want to show you that's quite quite useful um, when you're working in NCC if you're creating a lot of code and you want to be able to remember it and you definitely will if you put two slashes like this for two full slashes and then type after it you can write a comment that uh, will be ignored by the compiler so this is a comment and is not part of the code so when the compiler runs this it sees that these double slashes here and anything after that ie the rest of this line is ignored so you can write this on a new line so you can use this to describe your code say um, the, uh, you could put age is an int and then you could put height 
is a float and <clears throat> this is quite useful for describing what you're doing especially when you've got a lot of complex code and if you want to share in your code with other people even if they're really experienced programmers the last thing they want is to be given uh, code that's not documented with these comments because then they've got to spend hours trying to figure out what exactly it does even if they're a professional programmer they don't want to be doing that it's a waste of everyone's time so there's another way to put codes in uh, comments in your code as well and that is if you put a forward slash and an asterisk you can do multi-line comments so I put this is a multi-line comment um, put we can work on a new line and say um, my double is a uh, uh, variable of type double like that and then to close it you just put the asterisk again and then the uh, forward slash so what's really nice about this is that you could put this in the middle of a, a line that's got more than one piece of code on and the compiler will ignore everything from here down to here so if you had this on one line and you had some code before it and after it it would work whereas when you use this anything after the um, the, the two forward slashes on that line is ignored. So, for example, I could put here um, inline comment, blah blah blah, whatever. That's fine, and um, that's going to work fine. It shouldn't have a problem compiling. So, let's save this to the desktop. Call it main.c, and. Um, let me just clear this up because it's a bit messy. It's, there we go. <clears throat> so we can cd to my. I'm just going to change my directory to my desktop. Oops. Okay. Right, so gcc minus o, as per usual. We'll put the name of our binary, test, and we want to compile main.c. Compiled fine. So now we run test and um, there was no output in there but as you can see nothing nothing broke so nothing went wrong so that's fine so as you can see these comments are completely ignored but uh, if you wanted to write anything after that line you really couldn't do that but if we go down here just as just as an example to show you what I mean if I use these multi-line comments the com we call them uh, comment blocks but you know this is a comment block and then close it here I could take the line below put it up here and as you can see by the color of the text I mean even my text editor has recognized that uh, this is a comment and it's ended here with this uh, asterisk forward slash so now we can have some code after it and again this is also valid so this is legit so um, compile it again no problem we don't get any errors so that's really useful um, for documenting your stuff and if you if you have a piece of code that you don't uh, want to include anymore but you don't want to delete it you, you know you've written something pretty cool and you think this is really useful but um, I don't want to include this at the moment because I'm doing it a different way and it's better but I don't want to throw this old code out so I'm just going to comment out this piece of code and that's fine so when you compile it that bit of code won't be in the program anymore I'm just going to uncomment that because we do actually want that but um so these are a couple of different data types. I will introduce you to a, a you know a lot more data types than this later on. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check regularly for the next video in the series of ANSI C tutorials. For further discussion on programming, visit the forum on codeconsortium.com where you can post your questions and advice. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. See you next time.